But what's been working well for this Bluffton team over the last few weeks? Uh, definitely our run game and then our ability to stop the run. I feel like those are the two big things um, we've been really good at this week and then been able to pass the ball when we needed, but definitely the run game for us. You take a look back on the season so far. You kind of had some adversity towards the end of the regular season. Those Heritage, those Adam Central losses come to mind. How much do you feel like that could have been like a blessing in disguise for this team to face some adversity before the games really started to count in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, they really stung when it happened, but looking back now, it definitely was good for us to face some adversity before the postseason, and I think it's helped who we are now and really helped us. Second straight year, you're going to be taking on Bishop Lewis for a regional title. What do you remember about last year's matchup and how that's going to prepare for what's to come this Friday? Oh, they're a really fast physical team uh, last year, and last year I felt like we were satisfied with the sectional, and that's it. But I think this year uh, we're going to come in a lot more confident because, you know, we've wanted this game since last November, so... If there's one X factor to pulling off a win at Lewis Field this Friday, what exactly is that? I think it's just gonna I think it's gonna be our physicality and who owns the line of scrimmage up front. For sure. Uh, this is also gonna be our highlight zone game of the week, of course a regional title on the line. What are you most looking forward to when you make the trip up to Fort Wayne this Friday? Just the atmosphere and getting to play another game. Uh, you know, our games are limited, so as a senior, just the atmosphere, honestly.